G'day scrappers, here we are, scrapyard, St going to uh, cash in uh, a whole heap of copper wire and stuff, uh, I've got all kinds of things today, I've got uh, irony brass, I've got six bins, cast aluminium, two bins of low grade, and three bins of mid-grade insulated wire even got some extra tubs it's everywhere and I'm barely halfway through with all the wire that I've got at home so oh well this will do for now just want to uh, take advantage of the good prices this is uh, mixed brass yeah so we'll see how much we can get today Cat five. Iony brass. I've been meaning to get rid of this iony brass for a long time. It's only a half a bin of low grade, but I've got a full one. Um, um, two for wire, different wire, and then one for, uh, that's just cast aluminium. Um, yeah, one little one and two big ones. That's cast aluminium and it's probably, this is, looks like it's a mixture. Zinc and aluminium kind of thing. Oh, same stuff. Mid-grade. Mid grade. Ah. Low grade.
go. Okay. Just plugs. Low grade. Things with plugs. How's that? Nice. Okay, let's sort some stuff out here. I 
want to be able to get all my bins back. Stelly. on your thing yeah yes, that's me I'll just oh you're more. joking I don't use them it, it's too small I don't worry about it I just oh. <laughs> they're just power boards I pull out power boards to use yeah the odds and it's not worth it so yeah I've been them. wondering I thought it was one guy sort of around the corner that no I live around the corner in Sid so oh, okay really close so I yeah just come, every so often when I pile up a little cardboard box I've been wondering it's sort of like this mysterious box all of a sudden rocks yeah. up at the front porch and I think they're thinking, of no value they're just little power balls yeah they're not a thing stuff. the odd thing you know a hard drive here and there you know I just sort of throw in yeah that's what I thought it all adds up you know yeah. um and yeah already no. pretty sorted sort yes of <laughs> well I appreciate it you know yeah. thanks for that no worries well that was Bob I'm not sure I've ever met him before um but he doesn't live too far from me and Oh, the funny thing is, I haven't mentioned it on video yet, but every couple of months there's a mysterious box full of circuit boards and all kinds of things. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. This is a container filling up with brass. Wow. There's a few tonne of brass there so far. Jeez. Yeah, and as I was saying, um, it's this mysterious box rocks up every couple of months on my driveway, and I'm thinking, who's who's bringing this? You know. So I finally met the guy that does it. Okay, so have another look. Wow. So um, ended up 327 kilos of. Um, mid-grade PVC wire, minimum 43%, as they say. $3 a kilo, yay! <laughs> wow, 981 bucks, that's not bad. And the low-grade, 114 kilos. Uh, I'm surprised there was even 114 kilos, but still $1.80 a kilo, you see, so not bad. That's uh, either mid-grade with plugs or just low-grade ribbon wire and all that. Um, so I'm happy with that, 200 bucks just for that. Um, clean brass, 20 kilos, $5.60 a kilo, 112. Um, irony brass, uh, 30 kilos. There was some stuff in there that wasn't uh, good enough, like it was like only 20% brass, so he took a few pieces out, but that's all right. $3 a kilo, irony brass. So irony brass is the same price as um, PVC, copper so that's why they want kind of at least 70 percent brass 80 percent brass to steel for them to pay three dollars a kilo so 90 bucks just for uh um that and then the clean cast aluminium 67 kilos not bad 
dollar 35 is pretty good for cast at the moment so 90 bucks for that so total $1,478 and 65 cent I better get out of here and uh, make a bit of room for someone else <laughs> but yeah there we go so Manhari they're certainly uh, paying the goods at the moment there we go Manhari recycling if you're in Melbourne you want the best prices in town well they're in Sunshine Tottenham and Horsham so if you're around Horsham go and see them over there and uh, there you go well six uh, bins empty which is fantastic now I can got something knocking I think I'm going to get a puncher uh, I better pull over but I think I've run over something oh well first time it's ever happened at this place probably right on it ah there we go look at that ran over a all right It's going down. I better get home quick. Ah. That's unfortunate. How's that? You guys at Manhari, see? You gotta clean up your yard. How's that for bad luck? But he, uh, this part went right in. And I knew as soon as I was going to pull it out, I mean, it was all the way, so it's about an inch and a half. I knew as soon as I uh, was going to pull it out, it's going to start going, but um, that's all right. Luckily, I'm only around a corner to go home, so I should make it without it going all the way down, never know, but it doesn't matter. Now I've got to change, uh, change my spare. Oh well. And the uh, service station is a little bit too far for... Uh, uh, for me to drive there and get it repaired and they might not be uh, available well guys aside from the flat tire <laughs> um, uh, it's not too hard to uh, put a plug in it pump it back up but uh, yeah fourteen hundred and seventy eight dollars so a pretty good day good prices um, yeah pretty cool all right, guys, well, I'm going to get back home, change my tyre, and uh, start scrapping some more stuff. Might even do a bit more wire to uh, bring back. I've got the rest of the week to uh, get these good prices, so I might bring a couple of uh, bins worth of wire um, on Friday. All right, keep scrapping, guys. Have fun, and I'll catch you soon.